Hey guys, happy Saturday, back again already. So, I've had the car now for a few weeks. Uh, a good shakedown, see how it drives and see what's wrong with it, if anything's wrong with it. I wanted to go through what the car already has done to it, um, overall uh, quality of the car, um, and then what the dealer was asking and what I ended up paying for. Just to give you kind of a barometer of the C5 Z06 market. If you don't know, this is a 2001 Z06. It's got 89,000 miles on it. Uh, from the pictures online I saw, it was very clean. It looked very good. But again, pictures can be deceiving. So I went to the dealer actually on a day they were closed and looked at the car. Now without turning it on, what I could see, it was in great condition. The body's in great condition. And what I could see the interior was in great condition too. And what they were asking wasn't too bad. So I was like, not bad. That's reasonable for what it is. So, after I've gone through this car pretty good, here are the things that are done to it. And it looks like all these mods were done in the last two years and they're all pretty new. So I think whoever did got this car, whoever had this car, uh, built it up, maybe a uh, financial distress or they got bored with it and they just traded it in. Um, the engine's in great shape, the compression test checks out, uh, it's just very mechanically sound. I'm kind of shocked at the shape this thing's in and how, well, and how well it runs. I put probably 300 miles on it so far, knock on wood, like, it's awesome. With that being said, what's already done, I'll break down how much all these things cost and I'll give you an idea how much I saved because these are all things I was, I was going to do anyways. The master cylinder, the tick master cylinder has been done. It looks fairly new and it also has the remote bleed, which is awesome. So I was gonna do that. That's kind of a big job, so that's great. That would have cost me roughly $300, so boom, done. Um, next, I was gonna do some sort of clutch upgrade, just considering how old the car is. That looks pretty new. I checked the clutch out. It looks pretty new. It's a monster clutch. Um, it has a lot of life on it still, so awesome. That would have ran roughly 500 bucks. Uh, the exhaust, I was gonna do headers. And X-pipe at a minimum, um, that's already done. On the low end, that would have been 400 bucks. Um, I was gonna do either a B&M or a Hurst shifter, already done, 300 bucks right there. Uh, I knew I'd have to get tires for it. The rear, or the front tires are brand new. The back still has 90% of the tread on it, so that saved me, what, 800 bucks. Um, cold air intake, I didn't really know what kind I was going to get, but I knew I'd get some kind. Already done, 300 bucks right there. Now, tuning. I'm 90% sure this car is tuned. I have not hooked up a HP tuner to it, um, but considering what's done to it and how well it runs, I'm assuming it's already tuned. That alone saved me a few hundred dollars, probably 300 by the guess. I do want to get a tuner to look at it, uh, just make sure it's tuned adequately and it's running as best as it can. Uh, the valve springs are already done. I opened up a valve cover the other day. It's got the upgraded blue GM Performance valves. 150 bucks right there. Um, and it has a Corsa Extreme exhaust. Uh, 1200 bucks right there. Save me. Um, and lastly, what I've noticed so far is done to it is a catch can, which is paramount for these LS engines because they do leak oil out of the um, intake. So 100 bucks right there. So you add all that up, roughly $4,500. And when I was looking at the car, uh, most of these I noticed when I was test driving and going over it, man, a lot of the stuff I wanted to do is already done. So the price they're asking, I, I honestly would have been okay with, like if they didn't come down on it, you know? So with that being said, they wanted 16.8, which I thought was fair for the condition it's in. Um, I left the dealer, I paid 15.6, and I'm pretty happy with that. Now, the overall condition in the car, I would say the paint, a solid nine out of 10. I was washing this morning. There's a couple of very, very tiny blemishes, but the car is 19 years old. I'm not gonna complain very sound. I'm gonna go 9 out of 10 as well. Now lastly the interior. The interior is not perfect but it has all the normal 
C5 booger. The center console with the radio is the bezel. Uh, it's got some panel gaps, which happens, I think, to all C5s. The seats are in good shape, but they're loose. But I'm gonna do the seats anyway, so I'm not really too worried about that. So overall, the car is in great shape. Uh, I, I think I could turn around and probably sell it for 17.5 right now and get it, honestly. Uh, I'm not going to, it's a fun car. So, with that being said, for about $1,000 more, I can finish it up with everything I want to do to it to have it done, completely done. And that would be the seats, heads up display, head unit, corner lights, a new shift knob, and belts and tensioners. And then I think I'll be good, I'll be done on this car. I can just enjoy it. I already do enjoy it, but enjoy it even more. Hopefully this is giving you guys an insight to what you can expect to pay for a Z06. Now I know the 01's a little different from the 03 to 04, which have 405 horsepower, but they're very comparable. So yeah, here's a good baseline. So I think I got a good deal. I know it's kind of subjective, um, relevant, but I feel good about my purchase. And the plan is once the C8 used market, uh, I can pick one up for about 50, that's gonna go down. But with everything going on, with the stoppage of production, it, it could be a while before there's any on the, on the uh, used market. So, or any attainable, affordable ones on the used market. So probably a year out from that, honestly. But it's okay, because I have this thing to play with, and it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, you guys have a good rest of your weekend.